We got the undefeated three-year-old Philly outrageous style from post six, taking on the older mares here in race number three as they move in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. It's post time over to Vance Cameron for the race call. And Kurt, that's the undefeated outrageous style. She'll have to do it from the outside. They're lining up. Elm Grove, Nancy, catch a few rays. Elm Grove, Misty, Windermere, no harm done. Lock her up in outrageous style. Half a dozen of them with their noses pointed to the gate. Third race, post time. The rough and pacing locker up. Elm Grove, Misty, and catch a few rays are leaving on the rail. Elm Grove, Nancy. Fourth one to the turn. To get away, fifth is Windermere, no harm done. Then that heavy favorite will do it from the back, outrageous style. To the back stretch they go, and they're led to the quarter by Elm Grove Misty for Crocker Kelly. Locker up, dropped in for a two-hole ride. Catch a few rays, got away third. Then in fourth, it's Elm Grove Nancy. Racing fifth is Windermere, no harm done. Trailing the field, outrageous style. So the opening quarter mile to Elm Grove Misty in 29 and one. Locker up around the turn. Races from second. Then third is catch a few rays. There's movement fourth. Windermere, no harm done. Picks up fourth on the outside. Elm Grove Nancy will ride the rail fifth and to the outside the trailer. That is outrageous style. They approach the opening half mile led by Elm Grove Misty, the midway point leader on Locker Up. First up on the outside, Windermere, no harm done, advancing third. Second over the outside, fourth. That's outrageous style. On the turn, fifth. That's catch a few rays, and now the trailer is Elm Grove Nancy. One minute and a one for a half a mile. By the five-eighths they go with Elm Grove Misty, the leader on Windermere, no harm done. Outrageous style, swinging out three wide, looking for third. Fourth at the rail, that's Locker Up, and she has nowhere to go. Catch if you raise fifth, Elm Grove Nancy six. Three high by the three quarters they go. Farthest one out, puts her head in front. Outrageous style in between the horse and Windermere, no harm done. Three quarters of a mile in one. 30 and two to head it on home and Elm Grove Misty battles back at the rail Windermere no harm done outrageous style lock her up Elm Grove Nancy on the wire next outrageous style gets there with burial Windermere no harm done second third is Elm Grove Nancy two minutes two fifths Well, we mentioned it in the pre-race there, uh, the undefeated six, outrageous style. She remains undefeated now, four for four in her young career. And Barrio, what a perfect drive here. If you're Paul Holmes, the owner. You got to be pretty happy with this drive, a perfect second overdrive. Uh, Barrio tipped her three wide there down the back stretch as they had three quarters, one thirty and two. And he was just cautious around the last turn, just holding her together as she looked a little bumpy coming around that last turn. But Barrio just sitting chilly in the lane, driving by them all. And she gets there, gets the job done. Two minutes, two fifths. She looked good down the lane, getting by them there in deep stretch. And that is, again, her fourth win in a row. She remains undefeated. The four, Windermere, no harm done. She raced good here, too. And Elm Grove Nancy raced good for Kenny Murphy. But it is outrageous style. Getting it done as the chalk parade continues here at Red Shores.
into the winter circle from the third race. The sixth entry is outrageous style. Bay facing Philly three by He's Watching off the Cami Banks Dam Outrageous Storm. She's a homebred of Paul Holmes of Warren Grove, trained by Ron Matheson. Jill's Barrio keeps this Philly perfect four for four. Tonight, two minutes, two fifths. Outrageous style in the third. 